Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to The Pass is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight for the return of the weekend recap, where I showcase the things that I brought back from flea markets, antique stores, and places of that nature. This weekend in particular, I went to a yard sale on Friday, and then this morning, I headed out to a flea market about an hour away that I have not been to in probably two years. And I was very surprised with how many baseball cards that I came across there and some pretty awesome deals that I'm going to share with all of you right now. So let's get down to it. So I got some sets to show you and go through, some other things to share, and also a couple singles. We'll start out with the singles, but the yard sale on Friday, I found this one online. They were advertising sports memorabilia cards, all kinds of stuff like that. So I felt like I had to go check it out. And upon sifting through mounds of junk wax in Ziploc bags and just other stuff that I was not interested in, I did come across some singles that kind of caught my eye and this was one in particular this is a Deion Sanders 1989 tops traded and I was able to walk away with this for two bucks which I thought was a pretty good deal and it's a sharp looking card all around centering edges corners and this is one I did not have in my multi-sport rookie box so I was like I gotta gotta pick that one up grab that for two bucks and then today at the flea market I came across this 1991 Donruss Elite Matt Williams I was pretty pumped to see this uh, sitting there and most of you guys know I collect rookie cards error cards but I also have these like other little small collections like I collect Clemente and I also do collect elites when I see them for a good price because they are very very elusive it's always always one of my dreams as a kid to pull one of these cards they are numbered on 10,000 this one's 16 12 out of 10,000 10,000 back in 91 in the early 90s that was a relatively low number in comparison to the three or four million of each card that they're printing so I picked this one up for five bucks, and I don't think I have any uh, elites from 1991. So Matt Williams, even so, that was pretty awesome. Five bucks came back with that. And also this morning at the flea market, there's a guy that said he bought a collection off of some lady, and he had a bunch of stuff sitting out, tons of boxes of singles that um, they weren't really priced. There was a lot of like 81s in there, like 70s, junk wax mixed throughout. I sifted through a few of them, didn't really find all that much, but. He had a box full of like random sets, novelty sets like Kmart and stuff like that. And I found these in there and I was like, what, what are you asking for those? And he was like, a buck each. I'm like, that's it? A dollar for 89 traded. We have three Griffey rookie cards in those. And then 87 Fleer Update has the Greg Maddox rookie card. Also has uh, the Mark McGuire Uncorrected Air. So I figure we're gonna go through these tonight and find out if they are picked through. I asked him, do you know if the Griffies are in there? And he's like, I didn't go through them. You know, he kind of like reassured me that it didn't seem like, uh, you know, anyone went through them and picked the good cards out. But for a buck, you know, I figured I'd take a risk. That's a pretty awesome deal if Griffey and the other stars are in there. So we'll push these up to the side. We're gonna go through these like the last order of business. Keep them on camera a little bit here. Also at the flea market today, I this is like one of the first things that I saw and I was like, ooh, we see those too often. It's a 2004 Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects Blaster Box. And these aren't really that expensive because as far as like rookie cards, there's not really too much in here. You got like Felix Hernandez, but uh, his real rookie um, is in the base set. So eight packs inside of here total. And I do collect these when I see them for a good price. So you got two Bowman Chrome cards in every pack as well. I figured I got to pick that up. For my uh, unopened shelf so grab that also at the flea market from the same guy that sold me the dollar sets he had this one as well this is a really good price it's a 96 upper deck factory set this is kind of like my tail end of collecting so there's a limited edition numbered out of 15,000 with 30 additional update cards inside of here and the kid is the theme of this video apparently on the uh, top of the set very dusty and dirty um, cellophane on here but I thought that was pretty cool for a very good price so pick that up and also too this was actually another flea market I stopped at I couldn't walk away from this these were very very good deals but I always thought these were cool even though I never collected basketball and uh, I bought one along with a couple other stuff uh, a couple other things uh, for the store and the guy just tried to throw one in for free. And I'm like, I'm going to give you something for that at least. I, I wasn't entirely sure what these are valued at. But 
I think he's like, I think he tried to give me this for free. I'm like, at least take like five bucks for it or something. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, that works for me. But I was like, I don't see these too often. I know it's like Junk Wax era, 91, 92 per deck. But these are numbered as well, which I never realized before. But we have number one, number two. I think there's like, yeah, there's a, it's a six-part set. So Locker Series, there's a few different Jordan cards in there. I'm like, I'm going to grab those. And also, I'm going to push these out of the way a little bit before we tear into these sets to see if those key cards are in there. This was at the flea market as well, if you can see it without the glare. This is freaking epic. And yes, it is Pogs, a milk cap bottle. One-on-one, -on -one, Hakeem Olajuwon and Shaq. You'll see them. You're going to see my dirty desk here in a second. Dirty, unorganized desk. I'm going to try to keep it out as much as possible. But the, <laughs> there's a little peep. But there is the Pog container. The sweet sticker on it. Here are all the Pogs and the Slammers. These are freaking awesome. I got these for a great deal. I'm like, at the very least, I'll take them. I'll put them in the store. But I don't even know if I want to part with them because they're so cool. So that was one of them. And there's two different kinds. They're not worth a whole bunch of money. You can look them up on eBay. You can, if, you, if you think they're cool, you can grab one yourself for probably like 10 bucks. But this one is definitely different. Limited edition Shaq. Limited edition back then was, you know, could have been 100000 but a little bit of a different design. The Slammer kind of came out here, but so so cool. And it was something I never saw before. I'm like, I have to bring those back with me. As if I need more stuff in my toy room or collector's room, whatever you may decide to call it, hoarder room even. I had to bring those back, but not a whole lot this weekend, but here is where the deals can come into play for a buck each. So $4.00. For four different sets that have some pretty, you know, premium rookie cards in there. Let's start out with 89 Don Rust the Rookie. So Griffey rookie card obviously is in 1989 Don Rust in the base set, but he also had a card in this set as well as Randy Johnson and you know some other Hall of Famers, big time players. So we're gonna see if I got duped, but if I did, I only lost a few bucks. So Steve Carter, there's the Warren Spawn put together puzzle. When you find old sets like this. You gotta be skeptical because, you know, I've bought in collections and stuff like that where Griffey's always missing. 89 per deck, I feel like half the time, at least, Griffey is pulled out of the set. He's the first card. Kenny Rogers' rookie card is a notable one. Edgar Martinez, whose rookie was in, rookies were in 88. Here's Jim Abbott. So, Sandy Almar Jr. probably got picked out of there a long time ago. There's a Joe Girardi rookie card. He was not in the base set that year, but... Fingers crossed for a Griffey. Dante Bichette also had a card in the base set. There's Ken Hill. <laughs> it's one you don't see very often. I don't know if we should price that one at 30 bucks or more. Eric Yelling looking super depressed in the dugout. I, I'm not sure what number Griffey is off the top of my head. Chris Carpenter. Randy Johnson is still in here. That's a good sign. Kevin Brown. Steve Finley, another notable rookie card. Eric Hansen, who I despise as a kid. Matt Marolo, some of you guys definitely know the joke behind him in the 1990 upper deck. Omar Vizquel is also another good one. Is the Griffey going to be in here, though? Sheffield, another notable one. It looks like somebody poached him out. Tom Gordon, Deion Sanders, Griffey is missing. MIA. From the rookie set, but still for a dollar, there's still some good rookie cards in there that made that worth a buck. But now I'm worried that he may not be in either one of these. Let's put those up to the side. Hopefully, Greg Maddox, Mark McGuire, and several others are in here. Matt Williams also in the update set that year. Let's see if we can find 87 Fleer. I guess they appear to be in order, so that's cool. Juan Beniquez. It's been a while since I've gone through an 87 Fleer update set. I do have one already, but when you see these for a dollar, you can't pass on them. Ellis Burke's rookie card was definitely a good one back in the day. Steve Carlton. Chuck Krim showing off his pits. Dawson. I don't think I've ever done a weekend recap where... Just look through sets, but Eckersley, there's Cecil Fielder. Second year card of him. Jim Gott with some sort of strange hickey on his neck. Maybe it's a pimple, I don't know. Danny Gladden, Mike Greenwell, another hot one from back then. Albert Hall, Hammaker. So we're going to go through these somewhat quick, because I know it can be 
kind of boring to go through sets to some people. Mike Henneman, Guy Hoffman looks kind of creepy. I don't know what's up with the contrast in the back of that picture. So no sign of any rookies yet, Reggie, but I don't memorize card numbers, so I could not tell you where they are, they are at in here. But there is a well-respected unibrow, Stan Javier. Mike Kingery, Gene Larkin, but maybe we'll find some offensive signs. There's one behind Spanky Lavalier, but it's cut off, so I would not include that. And the necklace, Jim Lindemann, that card's kind of creeping me out too, looking a lot like Woody Harrelson. I'm almost positive that that is Woody Harrelson. That's got to be an error of some kind. And there it is, Greg Maddox rookie card still remains in here. Freaking awesome. Definitely, I would consider that the best card in the set. U68, Maddox rookie remains. Could that leave hope for the Griffey in the other sets? Possibly, there's McGriff. That's pretty awesome. It's McGriff's first Fleer card, and there is the Mark McGuire as well. So, and these are in pretty good condition too. These little set boxes used to drive me nuts because a lot of the time the cards would barely fit in there. So, you'd have to really put them in in like small little increments. Kevin Mitchell would have been a hot one back then too. We'll continue to go through it, see what else is in here that maybe I forgot to mention. Dickie Knowles, Paul O'Neill. It's his second Fleer card, Pena. Jeff Reardon. I'm trying to keep my on the background. See if there's any booze or tobacco signs. John Smiley. And the last stack of this set. So definitely worth the buck. There's a Swindell rookie card that Paul L. is obsessed with. That he actually has in his PC, Van Slyke. Devon White. <laughs> Jim Wynn. Looks like he's going to knock somebody out. There's Matt Williams' rookie card as well. Very nice. And there is the checklist. And we got a bunch of stickers thrown in here, too. I'm not sure why there's two A stickers in here, but two Phillies, apparently. Gave you some extras to share with your friends. Pretty awesome, though. All the key rookies were in there. So, definitely a score on that for a dollar. I mean, they're not really all that much more than that. You can probably usually buy those for five bucks at your LCS, but still, a nice pickup nonetheless. And we get down to the final order of business. We got two sets to go through. We'll do 89 score traded first. Now, there are some other good rookies in here. So, if the Griffey's not in here, then uh, it's not completely at a loss, but I'm hoping he is. The last set that I bought not too long ago, maybe it was like. It was the last weekend even. So these are not in order apparently. They have been gone through and possibly cherry picked. Let's hope not. I think I bought one for maybe five bucks at a flea market in Altoona. Maybe, yeah, I think it was last week. Eddie Murray still remains in here. Wally Backman just before going to the Buckos. Kevin Gross, Willie Randolph. So the trivia stickers, they're usually in this spot right here. They are not in here. So does that mean Griffey is not either? It is possible. Mike Aldretti. John Crook. So also in here you got Steve Finley, you got Joe Girardi. Albert Bell is a rookie card in here. There's Randy Johnson. Not technically a rookie by today's standards. It would be like a rookie debut. He has a card in the base set that year. Mitch Williams. A couple cards that are beat up in the corners. Burt Blylevin. So we're looking for some of these other rookie cards. Kenny Rogers as well. McClure. Zane Smith. Not looking all that hideous in that card. There's Mel Hall. And we have not seen really any rookies. Surprise, the other ones we're missing of Johnson still in there. Dion James. There's Henderson. There's Kenny Rogers rookie card. There's Albert Bell back to back. Omar Vizquel. Didn't mention him earlier. It's definitely a nice one. Scott Scudder and Ken Hill both. Steve Finley, also another decent one in this set. But is the Griffey going to be in here? Girardi, probably the last one we're going to see unless we pull off some kind of miracle that's not going to happen. So we are 0 for 2 on the Griffey hunt in these cheap sets. We're about to strike out. I guess we're going to find out. Regardless, 89 trade, you still got Deion Sanders' rookie card in here and several others, but moment of truth. Henderson on top. I would say the odds are stacked 
very highly against me after opening both of those. Very, very crisp feeling cards. Keith Atherton. <laughs> like a huge dork on that one. As to be expected with him. Todd Benzinger. There's Bob Boone. Kevin Brown. I believe that is a Kevin Brown rookie card. And then he's a rookie in 87 Don Russ. Benny DiStefano. Well, he hated that card as a kid, as I'm sure most of you knew I was going to say. Avaro Espinosa. Look, he's have not been taken out of the box in many, many years. Tom Gordon, rookie card. Mel Hall, Eric Hansen, and split these into two. Henderson, Ken, <laughs> lots of Ken Hill in 89. Ken Howell, there's Randy Johnson, also be considered a rookie debut card, I guess. He has an Expos card in the base set that year. Very nice. No love for Randy Johnson, apparently, the bandit. Did not care for him. Very sweaty John Crook, and I'd say it's definitely Mandela effect. I've never seen that card before. But in absolute disarray on that card. No sign of Deion Sanders yet. Al Leiter, second year card. Lloyd McClendon. Milligan, Mike Moore, Jane Moyer. There's Eddie Murray again. And the final stack. No sign of Dion. Omar Vizquel has not popped up yet. Clay Parker. Ray Quinones. Bip Roberts. is Kenny Rogers again, his rookie card. Nolan Ryan still in here as well. Could be a good sign. There's Dion. Very nice. Like I said, the odds are pretty high against me on this one, but that would be sick if Griffey was still in here. I guess these are kind of in alphabetic order. Again, I don't remember what number he is. Um, a scale rookie card. I don't know if he'll ever see the Hall of Fame now. Mitch Williams, the <laughs> pretty much exact same photo from 1990 Tops, reused, and Griffey is missing. What number is Griffey, anyways? I don't even see him on here. Quick scan, my eyes, there we go, 41T. So right after Ken Griffey Sr. was supposed to be junior, and he was stolen probably a long time ago. So that's how you make out sometimes. You don't always win on these random flea market buys, but I think I had a pretty good haul today overall for a buck a piece. You really can't pass on those, and all the other good rookies were still in there, and the 87 flute update was entirely there. So not too bad at all. And um, drop me a comment down below. Please let me know uh, what your favorite thing that you saw was. If you knew there wouldn't be a Griffey in there, because I'm sure some of you guys were calling that from the beginning. And uh, I will see you back tomorrow night for the return of the Retro Wax Box. And this time it is the June edition. So thank you guys all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.